Welcome and thanks for purchasing the Appliance Pro Air Remote 2. In this video, we are going to show you how to pair your remote to your air conditioner using the code input method. Stay watching at the end of the guide for some handy tips and some troubleshooting help if you are having any difficulties. This is the code input method. Use this guide if your air conditioner is listed inside our manual. If your brand is not listed, stop now and use our auto search pairing method outlined in a separate video. Okay, let's start by adding some fresh batteries. Slide the front panel completely off to reveal the battery cabin. Slide cover back on. Now, let's look at the brand code list. Each brand has a series of four digit codes that we will input and test one by one until we find the code that works for your air conditioner. Importantly, if your brand has a range of numbers separated by a dash, this means you'll need to try each of the numbers in this range. In this example, you will need to try 0127, 0128, 0129, 0130, right through to 0137. Now, let's get familiar with the keypad under the front flap. We will be pressing the small numbers on the bottom left of each key to input our potential codes. After inputting a code, we will test it by sending an ON signal to the air conditioner. To send an ON signal, press the power key once. When there are two temperatures on the screen, you have successfully sent an ON command. One temperature on the screen indicates your air conditioner is off. Another press sends an ON signal, which turns an air conditioner on. Now we are ready to pair up. In this example, we are using a Toshiba unit. Looking at the Toshiba codes, we will start with 0107. To start, use one quick press of the select key. Now the code area flashes on the bottom of the remote display and we enter our code. 0, 1, 0, 7. Now press the power key once or maybe twice to send an ON signal. OK, nothing happened which just means 0107 wasn't the right code. We will have to try another code. Here's a tip. Because our Toshiba unit is a very new model, generally that means a higher code number. For older models, try lower numbers. So let's try 1643. Press the select key quickly again. Enter 1, 6, 4, 3. Now press the power key to send an ON signal. Great! We are on! Now we just need to make sure it is the exact right code. To do this, we try some other functions. Swing function. That is perfect. Fan speed. Perfect. We'll just try temperature up and down. All working. If you find a function that doesn't work, it means it's not the exact code for your model. So just continue trying other codes. Stay watching for some great hints, tips and troubleshooting that will help get the most from your new remote. In rare cases, an air conditioner might turn on but not off. But this just means it isn't the exact code. Just continue trying the other codes. Test each code with an off signal as a successful code will turn your conditioner off, not on. If the remote display shows Fahrenheit to change back to Celsius, simply press the CF key. Auto. Cooling. Dehumidify. Fan only. Heating. Here are some common solutions if you have tried all of your brand codes with no success. Check power to your air conditioner. Are you 100% sure it is connected? Are there lights or a display indicating that there is power to your unit? Is the air conditioner power switch in the on position at your switchboard? 
Does the unit start manually from the indoor unit with no remote? Some units need to reset. Just turn the air conditioner off and back on at the switchboard. Check batteries and replace if the backlight is not a bright white colour. If you have tried all of your brand codes and all of the troubleshooting with no success, we suggest you try the auto search pairing method covered in a separate video. Want to save money and control your air conditioner from anywhere? Have a look at the new Sensivo Sky Wi-Fi controller on our website.